Hello everyone, I'm Raj and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a logo, a vector logo in the SVG format and how to use it in your web page. Now, this is very simple, but uh, and I have seen that there are very less videos on it. And uh, most of the videos are showing how to export it in SVG, but they are not showing it how to use it in the web. Right. So it's very much important to, to know, uh, to see exactly how it looks uh, in the web. Uh, right. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the entire process of exporting uh, the logo from Illustrator and taking it to the uh, markup like html markup and we can put it in in a we can show it in our web page right now here this is a logo this is a dummy logo which i have right now the name of the company is caper i designed this logo uh, uh, you know so sometimes ago uh, and uh, the client did not take it so i thought that i sh i can use this logo um, anyhow okay so i'm using this logo now here this logo i will first you have to take the entire logo and make a group out of it okay this is already grouped so uh, you make sure you just select the entire logo like this and press ctrl g from the keyboard this will group the entire logo now go to file new and uh, take any document just doesn't matter so i'm going to take a, any take take any random size document and create it's a 100 180 by 180 um, sorry it's 1080 by 1080 document now here i'm going to paste it okay now here we have it and now press shift o this will open up the artboard tool now any in any of the filled area of the logo just double click once it will um you know it will adjust the artboard in the size for in, in the size of the logo okay so now we have this logo over here now i will go to file and uh, save as a copy okay now i'll go to desktop forms and inside this i'm going to name it as scaper okay so i don't have to give dot svg because anyhow i'm going to save it in the form of svg so I will select from the drop down list. I will select the SVG format and make sure this use artboards is checked. Now click on save. Now here, look carefully here. You have to do certain settings. The from this drop down menu, you have to select SVG 1.1. Okay. Make sure this is checked and from this type option, always always make sure you are selecting the convert to outlines because otherwise if you select on if you select svg if you select svg it sometimes messes up the logo you know it it messes up the entire shape so we don't want that to happen for that we will select convert to outline so whatever shapes which are not in the form of outline it will automatically convert it in in the in the outline and um, um, it will not mess up the entire shape okay this has happened with me quite a lot of times so i figured out that uh, converting it to outlines solves the problem okay so convert it to outlines and uh, click on this option responsive and hit okay now we have the file saved in the desktop here i have it the form and uh, this is probably the logo the scaper yes this is and it's you can see it's very very big right so i will show you how to use it in the web page now here i have a markup which i just now created um, and here in this image tag i'm gonna use it use the logo scaper.svg right which i saved just now and here make sure in css and i'll give a class as logo and here in the css uh, let me search for this class i already named it here it is now write this logo dot logo uh, this is a class selector so i'm using the class selector dot logo and define its width you can define its width and i have set it to 150 pixels now i'm going to save it and now you can see this logo is beautifully shown over there and this is a vector vector logo so no matter how much you zoom 
it won't rasterize right and this is the beauty of svg logo right guys so um i hope this uh, tutorial helped you a lot um because there are no contents which are actually showing uh, how to use it uh, in the web you know um, they are they are just showing how to export it in svg format and uh, most of the videos are not co covering this uh, topic that convert to outlines this is very much important do make sure you convert it to outlines right otherwise your logo messes up right so we don't want it so uh, i hope this video will help you out and uh, thanks a lot for watching goodbye